And once again, we are continuing our courageous conversation, Everyone's Child here at 9. And tonight, a closer look at how the church can help those in the community who might find themselves in a crisis. Our Crystal Blair has more now on one Branson man's story and how the church helped him. Oh, I just, you know, made a, a lot of poor choices and they, they kind of snowballed and, and, it, and it built up to a, a point to where I just had a lot to deal with and it, and it was overwhelming. According to data from the Bureau of Justice Statistics, men make up more than 90% of the prison and local jail population. Skylar Thurman of Branson was part of that statistic. You know, I did, did all kinds of stuff growing up, you know, experimented and and it wasn't just alcohol. Alcohol is what caused me all of my, my legal problems that I, that I went through, you know, as far as getting a DWI and, and as far as having to go to, to sit in Taney County for a couple months. Danny Bird heads up New Life Restoration Center in Hollister, a 30-year-old long-term Christian discipleship for men. And it's usually the, the breakdown of the home. Um, most, most situations, not everyone, but most of them, uh, the families are dysfunctional and they were reaching young men in, that were in crisis in the county local jail and they, they needed some place to go because they said, I can't go home because my parent is the one that got me involved in drug use. And according to the U.S. Census Bureau, more than one in four children in America live without a father in the home. Pastor Kevin Reich of Brookside Christian Church in Branson believes this is where the Christian church can play a key role. I think it's important for the church, especially to reach out and to mentor and to just, I think it's important for there to be fathers. I didn't want to deal with my junk. I didn't want to deal with my problems. So whether that be substance abuse or alcohol or whatever, it was escaping my reality. It was me not dealing with my problems and, and just taking the easy way out. But the easy way out turned out to be the hardest way. One of the lowest points was to get on a video phone and, and talk to my children. That I don't want that, you know, that's, that, that was enough. Thurman finally reached out to New Life Restoration Center. I took seven months off and I worked at the Hilton. Um, I, I was a houseman, I stripped rooms and uh, kind of got my daily dose of, of PE and that's pride elimination. But you know, when, when things really started to change and, and what I noticed was when I fully submitted and, and completely surrendered to, to Jesus. The Bible's filled of boys. <laughs> that didn't do things so totally right, but yet God used them. And you see where um, things, there was things they were used for a purpose in their life. The Lord does give us grace to do things. And I think if we just um, ask Him for help and we do our best, you know, it's amazing. Love makes a difference and love never fails. Thurman now owns a voltage cabling company and has a new wife and baby boy. In Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. If you would like to see our other reports in this Courageous Conversation series, you can find them all on our Color 10 News app or on your computer at OzarksFirst.com.